Hello and welcome to Eco Farm. This is episode 26. In this episode, we're going to seed the three fields with canola and we're going to cultivate the second. Oh, what did we have in it? Um, it was sorghum. It was sorghum in the second, the second sorghum field. It's still got some stalks in it, so we need to cultivate that field. But let's just get this going, and we'll. So I'm doing the fields that had um, the early wheat in them. Um, I'm doing them with uh, with canola, so we can get some more of the oil, oil, I suppose, or protein um, feed for the pigs. Basically, it's just the oil, oil plants, really. The protein comes from that. It's not going to take too long to, uh, to seed these. Just busy doing this myself at this point in time. get the seed in and then uh, we'll get somebody to come and help us with the rolling. We're still going to have to fertilize. We haven't fertilized yet. It doesn't need lime. So there's plenty of plenty of work to be done. Let's put it that way. the last one that we're going to put to canola for now. We've still got to work on all those other fields as well but we'll do that in the next episode. Well we can only plant canola at the moment that's why I thought it was good to get these three fields going and then uh, in the next month we will work on the other fields and uh, we'll put a base crop, a base food crop into there so um, either sorghum or or corn, maybe corn for the whole lot. Just f to be different. We'll have a look and see. We'll make we'll make that decision next month. Right, that's that all done. Let's get this back to the to the sheds. Uh, looks like the mushrooms are fully stocked. So we might have to get that sorted out as well. We'll do that during the course of this episode. Right, let's get a roll on. Get that started. We'll put a, we'll put that onto a worker. As I said, we haven't fertilised yet, so we'll need to fertilise and weed in the next episode as well. Oh dear, <laughs> no weight on the front. <laughs> we'll have to come by a wait. Let's go and have a look and see what we can get. I suppose that looks good enough. Six, not cheap really, 1600 euros. Plus a little bit of a delivery charge, but it's up here. We just need to come pick it up. Get the... I don't know if it's going to be heavy enough for the... the I was going to say plow but it's not plow <laughs> for the roller there we go I'll get it I'll get it eventually for the roller did miss a little bit of a trick yeah I should have been had a worker on on the um, on the cultivating, but we'll get that sorted out a little bit later. Um, still not used to having two tractors. All this pulling power, all this horsepower available to us. Well, in two loads. <laughs> but we'll, we'll get this onto the worker, then we'll go and get the other lot started. 
then we'll probably have to bounce between the two for a while. Let's we'll probably have two workers on for a little while. While we bounce between the two. Between um, getting the rollers reset or the workers for workers on the rollers reset on different fields and getting that other field cultivated. It looks like it's handling the weight okay. Let's see, just see if we once we've opened it up if it yeah it's not too bad. Not too bad. Right we set a work off on that. So we'll just finish off these small little bits on this field here. This is the first sorghum field that we cultivated. Well, most of it was cultivated in the last episode. Just uh, catch the differences. That's the one problem with the workers is that you do need to tidy up after them. They tend to miss little bits here and there. It's not too much of a problem because when you factoring that we've done a lot of the other stuff by that I mean we've done we've moved other jobs along at a that we would not necessarily have done if we didn't have a worker on so once that is all factored in, factored in it's worthwhile having workers doing doing the work for us or doing some of the work for us let's not say doing the work for us sometimes we can be working on more lucrative deals or lucrative jobs maybe delivering produce to bring money in etc but yeah there are a few farms that don't work without help from others be those employees or family or or just people who come to work to help on a farm volunteers not many people volunteer on a lot of farms to be honest because the work is pretty pretty unforgiving most of the time chickens are doing well yeah this work I actually missed quite a bit I'm wondering if it's got to do with the slope Might be, but I doubt it. I mean, this uh, this makeshift cult cultivator is not the heaviest in the world. Heavy enough to do its job, of course, but not too much of a problem if we miss a little bit here or there because our um, cedar is a direct driller but um, a, d a direct drill um, but I do like to get the longer stemmed crops cultivated just because that's kind of what you would do you don't really want want the stalks breaking off I'd rather have them cultivated back into the ground not too much to go on this considering that the field is reasonably big certainly big by our standards background you can see the worker busy going on the rolling of the canola fields let's really make a note not to forget to uh, fertilize I won't forget to weed because the weeds will come up we didn't plow that field so yeah we'll definitely have weeds on that field uh, next month so I think that's just about done now isn't it let's get that folded up and uh, head on back to the farm and go and uh,
drop it off. Actually, no, we're not going to head on back to the farm. We're going to head on down to the to the second um, sorghum field that we did. Just a little bit there. Should I get it? Yeah, I might as well. I noticed that so it would bug me if it if I don't do it. If I didn't notice it, it wouldn't be too much of a problem. And there's another little tuft of it just in front of that as well. So we might as well just get it all done. There we go. It looks like uh, the work is finished on the first field. Rolling the first field. Has missed a couple of patches as well. Let's see if we can get a worker going on this and go and sort out those little bits and pieces. There we go. Right. We oh, it's missed quite a bit. We can see that the uh, I'm just not so sure because I uh, don't know why I should have missed the center part oh it's pretty that's probably it you can see it's struggling with the weight so it's not going 100 percent straight and that's why we're getting these cross lines uh, i wonder why well, we've done quite a bit of work with this wonder why now maybe i need to put more weight on i'll have to check this track that out I don't know whether maybe I didn't have any weights on the back wheels. I don't know. We'll check it out somewhere along the line. Yeah, definitely. They're definitely struggling a bit with the weight. In any case, we're going to have to make do with the, with it. We'll uh, we'll just have to live with it. I suppose they are smaller. Yeah, we might have to think about that down the line if I can't find out what the problem is. I really don't recall having this problem with the. But then again, I wasn't doing it with workers, so. I wonder if it'll, if it'll work better. If, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how the worker handles that when we put, we put it on. We just. Seems to be going okay. Seems to have done that pretty straight. I mean, it's pretty flat. There's no real hillside here. We'll really be able to tell when we do the the last field because there's a bit of a, a bit of a slope on that one. Let's see. Worker seems to it's having to steer into the. It's keeping it straight there. In any case, we get back to let the worker just keep up on those work on that job, and we'll um, jump in the old. Hurleyman and uh, just finish off the cultivating of the second sorghum field. Yeah, so I think we're going to have to. We're going to have to. Well, we've got a bit more land which we can make some more fields on. So that's going to have to be something that we're going to have to do. And then we're going to have to look to buy some more, some more land, um, because we want to be self-sufficient on pig feed, but we also want to 
be in a position where we're supplying other food to the town. It may be that we need to that we need to reduce our pig numbers instead of having um, working on a thousand pigs. Um, maybe we need to just work on a smaller number. It's going to be difficult that day. We shall see. We shall see. Let's have a look and see what we what we get from some of the pigs that we're being bring up to decent saleable age. Right, that's it. Done. That's all the uh, that's, uh, all the cultivating that needs to be done. So I think we'll direct seed the. Um, the wheat fields, they were cut pretty low. Just gonna park this up and then we will We're gonna have to start thinking about finding space to put up new or have a few more sheds. We're gonna have to we're gonna be buying in more of our basic equipment as we become more affluent. Right. Is that all done? Yeah, that's done that one pretty well. Put a work on here and see how it goes. definitely don't uh, want to be doing rolling myself. It's one of my pet niggles, rolling. It's not, I mean, it's something that needs to be done to get the yield up and it's good practice. But I like to get workers on that. Yeah, definitely struggling with the, with the slope and the weight. You can see how it just twists and it's crabbing along. So we'll have to rethink that. Um, we're pretty much at the power, at the top end of the power of our electric tractor, so it looks like we may have to get a smaller roller. If we've got it on workers, it's not too bad. Because look at it, almost, yeah, it's really not handling it at all. That's kind of worked it out though, which is interesting. In any case, we'll just finish off that little bottom section that they actually missed. Need to change over. Forgot to go back and <laughs> and um, and finish off that field. Ah, not going to worry too much about that right now. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to use this. Um, I'll, I'll have to just test it out on the other one, maybe. Maybe it's just a slight adjustment to the to the weight. We'll have to we'll just wait and see. 
Right, let's go and get some water connected up and we'll go and do some work on the um, on the greenhouses. We are getting towards the end of the day. We can fill up the greenhouses and uh, so they can work overnight. We'll move the the, the um, pallets that are already have already been generated away from the spawning area. We're nearly full. It shouldn't be too much longer before we can get going. Yeah, I need to definitely look at... We didn't really struggle with that, but... I wonder if I've got this at full power. Well, I'll investigate it in the, in the next episode or so. There we go. While that's filling up, we'll just move the crates out of the way. So that we can get another five to spawn overnight. These um, greenhouses just work wonderfully. Fill them up with water in the morning. They've pretty much done their job by the evening. Fill them up again and they work overnight. And you get um, ten pellets in a in a month cycle. Or a day cycle, whichever way you want to look at it. Swing around. Fill this one up. That's it done. Hop back in and get some more water. We'll head on down to the flowers and do the same there. Cost us a whole day of the harvester sitting there because the um, sunflower is not ready yet to be harvested next month, I think. It's still cheaper than than rehiring it. these out of the way and then get those refilled and then I think that'll be us for the day I'll be moving on the next episode into the into the new month which will be September hopefully we'll be doing sunflower harvest we'll have a look and see what the problem is with the second holyman whether it's just the weights, if there's, if there's any other, if there's something that we haven't done when we bought it. Because I don't really remember the problem. In any case, that's where we're going to end this episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!